All right, if you work with turning centers, uh, you probably experienced a time where chip control, chip management was some kind of an issue, like uh, chips were being pulled into a turret uh, or fed into the coolant of an external coolant turret uh, on a subspindle machine. Uh, in these cases, you might want to grab uh, something like uh, a left-hand tool on an upper turret uh, and work on the subspindle. For example, like to using the opposite side tool working in an inverse X on your machine. And so I'm going to show you how you can use uh, Simcoe to uh, invert the X of code and cut across the center line uh, with the opposite hand tool. And as you can see, we have a, we have arcs in our in our program here. And these arcs will be flipped backwards and we'll have to flip them. But simple math functions that we take x and we multiply uh, by a value of negative 1.0. What we'll find is all these x values you see here that are positive are going to go to negative. Uh, we have to make sure that we've got the negative sign in there. So there you go. Uh, we just flipped our X and our back plot moved. Uh, what else happened? Uh, I, the, the weird thing here is that it seems that we multiplied Z as well. So what is the, uh, there we go. So I need to multiply my Z's by negative one and flip them back. So there we go. Uh, we use simple, simple math in Simcoe, but as you can see now, our arcs are all screwed up. Well, don't worry about that. All you have to do is uh, flip them. So a GO3 becomes a GO2. And see, on the watch my back plot, and you'll see that uh, arc flip right as rain. So uh, we'll come back through here and we'll flip our GO3s to twos. And just like that, we've created a mirror image across X so that we can get rid of that chip management problem. And uh, this is something you can do if you have Simcoe Edit 8 or later. And you, you just go up here to NC functions, use the simple math, multiply X by negative one and you'll achieve what we're talking about. Most of the time I'm using this in a turning center for moving Z's. So if I have a proven operation, I can move the Z's of an operation using uh, simple math. So I could add, for example, I'm on the subspinal side of the machine. If I add a negative one, I should move all this. You'll watch this pop over here. So watch this, uh, look at that, bam. We just moved our Z's by uh, one inch. Um, I could also, uh, let me let me try to think of what I was trying to say here. I can use my uh, my simple math to, to achieve, you know, to achieve a small value. Uh, the way to do this on an individual operation, that was what I was looking for, was uh, I could take this, I could file new, open a new screen, I could take just the code from this operation so I just I just did something that screwed it up. Uh, I can paste in this new window. This is the best place to use simple math, and I'm going to add one. Boom. So now I I took it and I corrected the code. Heck, I could even flip flip Z here. Let's uh, flip X. So let's go to multiply by a value of negative one. And then flip my my twos to threes, and I'll show you guys uh, how I can bring it back the way it was. You know, so I moved it that inch in Z uh, in the positive into the subspindle and fanic, and uh, flipped it across X back to where it was and flip my arcs so that they weren't uh, inverted. Anyway, uh, simple math is a cool tool in Simcoe. Edit 8.